Oh my god. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <sighs> I was laughing at work today. <laughs> um, yeah. And that would have been like, I would have been, I was laughing like 90% of the time. And then my boss blamed it on reality television. So you can tell that worked out. And I was literally laughing at them. <laughs> For no reason. It just happened like over the last few days. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I just searched it up. And apparently I have a brain injury or multiple sclerosis or some disorder that like I probably have that ADHD or something. Hey, I'm getting tested. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> It's just like it's. I've gone insane. I'm not high or anything. I've I've never done drugs. I'm a good girl. I'm not saying that to be like I'm not like other girls. Genuinely, have not done drugs. But in the presence of my sister's boyfriend, I just keep laughing for no reason over the last few days. It's just so weird to me. I'm not in love with him. I just stuck and literally, I was what like made me laugh was because. <laughs> he was in my sister's room and he was like I was just laughing so hard looking at him <laughs> and then he was like I'm sorry but I have to close it <laughs> off because my sister was probably like um could you please tell her to close it please, could you please close it <laughs> and I felt so bad <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Can you imagine me? Like, I cannot imagine me meeting famous people. Like, if I was meeting a famous person, the person I really admire, I would just be laughing at them. Because this person is not even famous and I'm losing it. So, imagine me standing in front of a famous person. I will be like... <laughs> but then again, at the Strokes concert, I couldn't get a single laugh out of me. It was so weird. Like, Julian Casablanca was, like, making jokes... That I would have usually laughed at if I was watching the video. But I think it was just so surreal seeing him in person. That I just, my body was like frozen. Like I was obviously going, singing all the words really loudly. And I think he noticed because it's like, someone in the crowd is rehearsing these words tonight. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. Um, but I don't know if he actually heard me. There was a lot of voices. But, um... And, uh... But anyway, at that time, I was just, like, completely frozen, did not, like, have any, um, but I was just, la anyway, I was just laughing in the car on the way to work, um, and, because I was really excited to show my sister's boyfriend my work, um, and he was just, um, I was just laughing the whole time, because <laughs> I guessed his middle name right, it was so insane, I was like, I was saying, um, he was like, I just said, as a guess. James is your middle name and he said that's my middle name <laughs> like what that's you got I said you're joking of course that's not your middle name and he's like it is and I was like <laughs> I must have read that somewhere I bet I've read it somewhere because otherwise I wouldn't get that like usually sometimes I read something and then I completely forget about it and then later on it suddenly comes to my head and then I think that I had that thought if you get what I mean that happens all the time for me. So maybe it's just one of those things. But I doubt I ever looked at his full name. I definitely have not stalked him or anything. But it's like his, his freaky little sister is like knowing my middle name. But it turns out I wasn't the only person. Um, actual at college, another girl guessed his middle name right. So it's just weird coincidences, okay? As I've been finding, I was reading Brian Brown's The Drowning and because um, I never heard of Brian Brown. Apparently he's an actor, but I've never heard of this guy. But today I was watching The Good Wife because I could not sleep at all. And um, it was like 3am. I was like so hungry. So I was just watching it. That's my go-to show. Um, and 
I'm currently having an existential crisis on which one is better, Law and Order or The Good Wife. I mean, they're both so good. So, The Good Wife, I guess, because it has the word good in it. But um, the Law and Order is also just so good, so I can't choose. Um, anyway, Brian Brown was a guest star. And I was like, that is a coincidence. I literally finished his book yesterday. I mean, it would be an actual coincidence if it, if I watched that episode on the day I read the book, but it happened the day after, so I, I guess that still counts as a coincidence. I'm not sure, but actually, I don't believe in coincidences. So that was just some like sign, I think, an omen. I mean, I haven't talked about omens, but I kind of stopped believing in omens for a while. Like, it's not that I don't believe in them. I just like completely stopped thinking about them. Like last year, the year before, I had like I was so like I I was just like this. I was really hell-bent on bad luck. Like, if something ha bad happened to me, I'd be like, um, this, I'm cursed. I just said that all the time. I think that was before I, I went on medication. Now that I'm on medication, like, I think I just, brain just completely, like, does not say that entirely. Stop saying, Lord. And, um, so yeah, I guess that's been a good sign. Um, I finally worked out how to eat these properly which is don't cut the bottom and the top because <laughs> of course it's got to explode because the first time I was like why is the bottom leaking out and then it turns out it's because I cut both sides <laughs> but my little mind is so dumb and yes I'm about to get tested I just said that yeah it's so bizarre to me I just could not stop laughing all day today um it wasn't high or anything <laughs> Um, there was no pot in the car, I believe. Um, I know my sister smokes weed sometimes, but I don't think I inhaled it. And my sister's boyfriend, he does not do drugs at all. He doesn't like it, which I find incredible. And that's so cool. Good on him because most people are just like, young people you think would do drugs on all the time. Well, it's drugs, so good. And he couldn't, it's fine if he is that person, but he's just not interested. And it's, it's not because he wants to be different. It's just who he is and I think that's really like I support him on that it's so cool because he what made it so lovely is he actually got my sister to stop vaping which is um really just really sweet because my sister told me um that she got addicted to vaping when she was in college and I just cried like when I got to my room I just burst into tears because I didn't know that's how much she was struggling like I knew she was vaping but I didn't know she had an addiction <clears throat> and obviously vaping is a huge problem in Australia I don't know about any other countries but um he actually got her to quit so she hadn't met him like who knows what place she'd been now and uh yeah so he's just done he's just been a sweetheart to her obviously her to him um it works both ways but yeah um I'm really grateful to him and I hope he knows that and doesn't just see me as this annoying person who just can't control her laughter all the time <laughs> Which he probably already thinks of me like that, and I, it's totally fair. I mean, I have, the last few days, for some reason, I just can't stop laughing. Like, it wasn't like, ever since he came back, I just started laughing straight away. I was saying, like, suddenly, the last few days, I just couldn't stop laughing. It was so weird to me. Maybe because I hang out with him more or something. Oh, so weird. Mm. Anyway, so that just happened, and... Like, I am putting on this weird persona. I'm, like, starting to think, is this the way I'm going to act around boys? And I'm pretty sure I can tell my sister feels it too. Like, why is her sister acting so weird? And obviously, it's, I think it's because I am just have not been, obviously, in an environment with a boy for this long. And I guess that can trigger some weird reactions. Because, <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, like, I do not have any friends that are boys not boyfriends I don't have any like I just never have ha hang out with like friends boyfriends or anything like that I don't have friends so I guess this is like some just weird it's not that like I have a crush on him or anything of course I don't but um if I did I would tell you I'd be honest with the internet it's just uh, some nerves or something is like my body can't quite adapt to the fact that there's like cause it's, it's a boy it's it's an older boy obviously but it's still um it's <laughs> I just realized well maybe you can hear me but the door he said the door is closed um and I'm talking super low um but uh at least it sounds like I have friends I'm talking with someone um mm. but 
Um, yeah, I just don't, I just have not really been comfortable in that environment. Um, it's not that I'm scared of boys, it's just, um, what am I trying to say? Just like, it's just not used to it, I guess. And, um, he's been staying with us for like nearly two weeks now. He's about to go home, which is kind of sad. But, um, maybe it's good if he leaves because um, <laughs> I'm not sure he wants to be with, in a house with this girl any longer. <laughs> you just gotta keep laughing at him for no reason. And I just feel so bad, and I'm just, I'm, I'm telling myself, stop laughing, but I just keep laughing at it. <sighs> Help. Help. 